Hello everybody, welcome back to another Salesforce development tutorial. In this video, I want to quickly go over how to prevent multiple submissions on a Visual Force page. I've gone ahead and already created the Visual Force page and controller for this demo. As we can see here, we have an Apex form with a single input text and a command button. And really all it does is it allows a user to create a contact. And in this specific organization, we only have one required field, which would be the last name. Uh, back on the controller class, you can see here we have our constructor, which really just starts off with initializing the last name variable we defined, as well as a submit method that is called when the command button is clicked. All it does is it creates a new contact object, uh, initializes the last name field, and inserts that contact, then it just returns the current page reference. So jumping into the preview here, we can see that we're, we're able to click on the submit button. It takes a few seconds and then, you know, a contact should have been created. In this case, I don't have any success or error message to show that, but we can jump into our org, go to the contacts, and I've already created a list view called multi submission. In this case, the filter is just to look for a last name that contains test last name. And as you can see here, you know, we have a couple submissions. So again, if we go back to our visual force page and submit one more time after it's done loading, we should see that there should be now, there should now be five, uh, records, contact records. So let's go ahead and refresh. And you can see that we have five now. So the issue with this very simple visual force pages that the user can, you know, just click and click and click and click and click. So I've gone ahead and clicked about four or five times. So if we go back to our list view and click refresh, you'll now see that the, it just jumped from five to 10 because, you know, I clicked five times and that might not be functionality that we want to have for our visual force pages, especially one, ones that have complex business logic. So a relatively simple way of preventing multiple submissions on a Visual Force page is by using the Apex action status tag. This action status tag allows us to track the current request state, and it allows us to output some type of information onto our Visual Force page um, between the start of the request and the end of the request. So very quickly, I'll type in what that code looks like, and then we can go over in detail. As you can see here, we have this Apex action status tag with an ID of spinner status. Inside we have a child uh, with the tag of Apex facet. And here, I guess the easiest way of thinking about this is the Ajax request that's sent to the server has a start and end status. And this is just me simplifying what I read in the Salesforce documentation, which I'll link down in the description box below. But what I'm interested in is between the time that the Ajax request starts until it ends, I want to throw something up on the screen to prevent the user from doing anything. So kind of like a loading, a, a loading spinner, which is what we're doing. So using that, I define this apex facet with the name of start to indicate that I want something to appear when the request first starts. In this case, we're creating two div tags. One has something called a class of spinner background and another one has a class of spinner icon. Next, let's go ahead and define those styles. As we can see here for the spinner background, we're giving it a width of 100 and a height of 100. I want the position to be absolute. So basically means it, it shouldn't move. It should just stay exactly where it is. A background color of basically black with an opacity of 0.3. So not completely black. And the Z index of something relatively high just to ensure that none of the other tags on our visual force page will go above this background. And for our spinner icon, again, we give it a width of 100, a height of 100, position of absolute because I don't want it to move at all. And then we're going to grab a background image that already exists in Salesforce. This one's called loading 32 GIF. I'm going to give it a background size of 42. I don't want it to repeat. I want the background attachment to stay fixed and centered. And then for this Z index, I went ahead and placed it higher than our actual background, just so that, you know, you can see, see it above the relatively gray background. And then we're going to give this an opacity of one. With the styling done, all we need to do is hook up the action status to our command button so that it knows when to display and when to remove it. 
In this case, all we need to do is make use of the status attribute on the command button. In this case, we're going to pass it in spinner status, which is the ID of the action status. And we also have to tell it to re-render once it's done. With the request. In this case, we just wanted to re-render the form that has an ID of form. So once we click on save, we can jump into our preview again. And this time, if we try clicking on the submit button, you'll see that a gray background with a little loading spinner appeared. And the pretty cool thing is with just those couple of lines of code, now the user can't click multiple times because that gray background is on a much higher Z index than this submit button. And that effectively prevents multiple submissions. So there you have it. This is a relatively simple way of preventing multiple submissions on a Visual Force page. Feel free to leave a comment down below with any thoughts on this or if you have a better way of doing this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.